Hi, my name is Stan Riddle. I'm a trainer for Viberline. Today we're going to be talking about Viberline's belt hog. The belt hog is a simple, inexpensive tool used to align shivs, pulleys, and sprockets on machinery. The belt hog system consists of two laser heads which measure each other's relative position by simultaneously projecting and receiving each other's beams. Each belt hog is powered by two AAA batteries. Normally, we'd use the belt hog to align larger machines such as these. But for the purposes of our demonstration, we'll use this small motor and fan. The base of both belt hog transmitter detectors has a built-in magnet, which holds the belt hog units to the shivs of the machines. To center each belt hog, Directly above the center of the shiv groove, V-belt mounting pins are inserted into each unit's spring-loaded bottom. The use of these pins allows the belt hog to align to the shiv groove center where the belts actually run. This is better than aligning the shoulders of the shivs, which can have different thicknesses. The mounting pins come in four different sizes, two different head sizes, and two different shaft lengths. Select the pin size that will contact both sides of the groove and has a shaft that will retract far enough to seat the belt hog unit securely against the shiv. Turn each belt hog unit on and mount them to the shivs. If multi-groove shivs are used, be sure to mount the belt hog units in the corresponding grooves in each shiv, such as the shiv grooves nearest you. Mount the units with the on-off buttons on both units facing the same direction. Position each belt hog unit so that its beam is projected onto the measuring surface of the other unit. You may also have to rotate the shafts to accomplish this. One unit will be designated as the stationary unit and the other as the movable unit. The movable unit is mounted on the machine which will be adjusted to make any required corrections. When the shivs are in perfect alignment, you'll see that both laser beams are centered on and lined up with the opposite detector. This is our goal. Now, let's introduce misalignment, which can occur in three different axes. Vertical angular misalignment, horizontal angular misalignment, and horizontal offset misalignment. Using the belt hog, we will correct these three types of misalignment in order, one by one. Vertical angularity should be corrected first. This is best done by shimming either the inboard or outboard end of the movable machine, but never both ends. Watch the target on the movable machine and continue adding shims under the feet of the movable machine until the laser beam is parallel to the measurement lines on the movable target face. We're only correcting the angularity or twist the laser beam does not have to be centered at this time. Next, we'll correct the horizontal angular misalignment. View the target mounted on the stationary machine while moving the back feet of the movable machine or the movable shiv. The goal is to have the laser line striking the stationary machine's target in the same color panel and same distance from the center as the laser line striking the opposite target. While it may seem counterintuitive, don't worry about trying to get either laser lined up on the center of its target. Last, we will correct the horizontal offset and achieve alignment by bringing both laser beams to the center of our targets by moving the movable machine or the movable shiv in or out. With solid mounting and three easy steps, we have lined the shivs on this machine using the belt hog from Viberline. 
With additional accessories, the belt hog can also be used to align timing belt pulleys and chain sprockets. For more information, visit us at www.viberline.com.